A Cleveland woman says one phone call and quick thinking are the reason she's alive. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh. Well, she says her ex-boyfriend was trying to kidnap her tonight. That woman speaking only to News Channel 9. Alyssa Sperato joins us now with her story. Alyssa. That's right, Kim and Josh. Police say it all started Sunday outside of a bar in McMinn County. They say the 911 call saved her life, but she credits quick thinking and her desperation to get away. I'm lucky to be alive. I have children. I don't deserve to die. Nobody deserves to go through what I went through. Still visibly shaken, Linda Childs recounts Sunday night's events. As soon as we got onto the interstate, that's when he started hitting me, calling me names. Um, he, he was on some drugs that I knew he was on. Child says she begged her ex-boyfriend to stop the car and let her out, but he refused. Police say it was this man, Kevin Brown. I said, there's three Cleveland exits. Just please let me go. I don't deserve to die. And he was telling me that I love you with all my heart. You love me with all your heart. You're not going to be with nobody else. Um, he said that it's your time to die. She knew she had to do something. She says Brown knocked her phone onto the floorboard. I hit 911 and I picked it up and I turned the phone upside down and I knew where my buttons were, so I pushed it against my seat. I hunkered my head down because I knew that he would try to get my phone again and I let him continuously start beating on me. Whatever he wanted to do, just I knew I had the cops on the phone. Dispatchers could hear Childs crying and Brown yelling in the background. She says she convinced Brown to get off the interstate and pull into this pilot gas station in Cleveland. Police tracked her cell phone and were waiting nearby. I decided to jump and he had grabbed a hold of my sleeve and my one jacket sleeve had come off. And I was so scared and I rolled five or six times. And I just wanted away. She made it inside to safety and Brown ran. She's telling her story tonight, hoping to help other women who may find themselves in a similar situation. Maybe hopefully this will help them. Help them. You know, if you know somebody that's going to harm you or something, get away. Get out. Anyway. Find some way. Police were able to catch up with Brown near Cleveland High School a short time later. Brown is facing charges of aggravated assault, reckless endangerment, and aggravated kidnapping. He's currently sitting in the McMinn County Jail on a $72,000 bond.